Welcome to episode 41 of the Bolton Wanderers Road to Glory series. And if you missed last episode, please check it out. Ten goals scored as we avenged one of our losses this season. Up this episode, as you see there, we're going to have a home match at Burnley to get us started off. Then we'll have a two-week gap until we travel to Derby County. Heading into the month of April... We'll be home versus Ipswich Town to wrap up that episode. So another home match and another greater uh, Manchester Derby, or at least a Northwest Derby here versus Burnley. There's a look at the table there. Middlesbrough and several others have already played their game. So we've had those four points on Bournemouth. Run out a rotated squad for this one as it's midweek. Um, so hopefully we can fare better than we did first time versus Burnley. Speaking of that first time, it was a scoreless draw. Tom Heaton, one of the better goalkeepers uh, in all of England. Good the way there, Barnes. Crosses midfield as we cross the 20 minute mark. Goodmanson out wide. Two men on. Where's he going to go? He does get it in at DeFour. DeFour touch out. Alashe well marked there. Plays it to Darwika. Into Goodmanson. Goodmanson's going to have a shot. It bounces around. Hittings. Oh, what a save by Svilar. As the ball just bounces up in the air. Hennings, that was going to go in the goal. So well done there from the keeper. And it's a corner. Goodmanson out to take it. Trying to cut off this near post run there. He's going to go to the far post. And it finds the head of Keane. And that's out for a goal kick. Okay. Back for Kermit Carter Vickers. Over to Alashe. The forward Davis. Oh, no call there. I guess Bardino did well. He dribbles across, plays a ball through for Barnes. Barnes gets it in around a weeder. Barnes with the shot. Svivlar dives and pushes that out for another corner. with five saves as we see there. Three minutes added on here in the first half. Darwika is going to bring that under control. Takes it in the box. Cuts it back inside. Oh, shot is well blocked by Moxie. Walker now. As you see there, we've yet to register a shot on goal. Oh, just a shot. Ball over the top. Brought down by Davis. He's in between the defenders. He's going to get a shot off. He does, but he gets nothing behind it. Heaton's going to push that out for a corner. So it took us most of the first half there to get any sort of offense created, and we nearly took a 1 0 lead going in half time. Looking to continue that now here at the start of the second half. The Tekken to Alashe, quickly forward for Jan Vie. He slides the ball through, and Davis doesn't get anything on it once again. to DeFour. Moxie blocked that pass. But picks it back up. Gives it to Gunmanson. Forward for Barnes. Hennings. Davis steps up to block that. But they still have it here in our final third. He's going to give that to our field. To Gunmanson. Gunmanson with a shot. Svidlar with the save. Moxie's just going to clear this away. Oh. Fouled there, but he does get it inside for Bennett. They are going to give us the benefit of the doubt. I guess that was maybe a backwards pass. Looks like Souza is going to line up over this. Under 20 minutes left to play here. Still looking for a goal either side. Made a sub, and ball comes in. It's going to fall to the feet of Moxie, who has a shot. And deflected off a defender, Heaton did well just to push that wide. So there's a 
Sends in another one. Bennett with the header. Over the top of the bar. Cannot quite find a way of putting these headers off corners down into the net. They always fly over. Okay, plays that forward for Davis. Uh, Davis the right back. Now it's forward to Davis. He's going to send it this way. Hall, oh, he's a new youngster. Signed! And he puts it over the bar. So seven minutes left here. Looking to keep the pressure on. It's definitely been a tale of two halves as we've applied most of the pressure this second half. Souza out for Davis. Davis slides that through for Ateke. Ateke cuts it inside. Gives it to Davis. He sends it back. That was meant for the runner that was running on, not for Ateke. So it's two nil-nil draws versus Burnley this season. So only two points from the, I believe it's a greater Manchester side. Of course, they've fallen from the Premier League from that first season. Pretty even match game there. Sivlar and Weider share man of the match with 7.6 rating. Of course, no goals or assists. But we'll travel to Derby County for the second match of this episode. And that draw last game let Bournemouth climb two points back. So the lead is back at two. Derby County in that similar 4-3-3. Now we drew nil-nil versus Zim earlier in the season. So hopefully we can find a way to put one past Scott Carson this time around. Back to our normal starting 11. Or, well, amended for the injury to Van Bergen, who has come back from injury, so we may get him in the lineup next time. Svinar rolls this out for Beavers. Spearing. Semizeda. Cooking. Finds Vela. Now to Clough. Clough has the runner out wide, but he's going to play that through for Wilkinson. Wilkinson slides it through for Harrison. Jack Harrison with the shot. It's across the face of the goal and out for a goal kick. Electing to play out short. Hansen now. Gives that back to Christie. Now turns it towards the other way. Bryson. Taken away there by Spearing. About a quarter hour in. Plays it out for Harrison. Harrison will turn it inside. Harrison with the shot. And the save from Carson. It's going to be a corner. San Jose that tries going over the top. Wilkinson does bring this down. Gives that to Spearing. Spearing plays it for Clark. Up from the right back position. Has it poked away. Drops it back for Spearing. Gives this to Clough. Defender right on him. Harrison slides it back through. Wilkinson turns. Wilkinson. Oh, I think the shot took a deflection as well as being pushed out by Carson. Yeah, see that, that sliding tackle there just got enough of it to slow it down and not let me go across the goal. Harrison will whip this one in. And Beavers in a save from Carson. Shackles just going to send this up the field. Derek will bring it under control. Plays that inside for Clark. Now up for Spearing. Spearing has Wilkinson. Wilkinson to Clough. Clough with the shot. Oh, it's high and wide. Quickly push forward for Wilkinson. Harrison does well to take that off the defender. Gives it to Clough. Clough, two men on him. He's going to play it wide. Vela. We'll wait for Clark to come up. No, gives it back for Clough. Clough has it poked away by Thorne. Clough. He's going to give that to Spearing. Spearing lays it back off. Clough with the shot, and it's in! Finally, the first goal of the episode comes 38 minutes into the second game, and what a beautiful shot by Zach Clough. I believe... 
I believe he's right footed. It looked like he hit this on his left and wow, puts it into the far upper right hand corner. That gives him double figures for the season. He's 10 goals in the championship this year and more importantly, it's a one nothing golden lead. Bella, outside back for Clark. Spearing. Time running out here in the first half. Wilkinson will run this down. Three minutes added on. He sends it in the club. Oh! Thought he was going to get his second of the half there. But the defender just comes running at him. Wouldn't let him cross it in. Halftime, 1 0. Carson plays that out short again. A lot style like mine as we cross the hour mark. A half hour remaining here. Clough got in the way of that pass. Wilkinson drops it back for Zemazeta. To Vela. Vela gives it to Harrison. Harrison turns inside, gives it to Wilkinson. Wilkinson in between three, drops that back for Spearing. Spearing's going to play it through for Clough. Clough now goes right back to where the ball came from. And can he get a cross in? He does to the far post. Harrison's there. Why did he try to trap it? I hit the shot button. Finally, Carson will send one down. Theo brings it down. Oh, Da Silva does well to step up there. He has Walker out in front. Walker, chance to take this down and get a cross in. Walker sends it in, and oh, that's an own goal. Walker's going to celebrate as if it's his. I mean, he did create the play. Thorne tried to clear that away. It actually bounces off Carson. Clough was there to put it away. So a 2 nothing victory over Derby County means that we will keep that two-point advantage at the top of the table as it was one-sided affair here they only had two shots one of them on target man of the match goes to jay spearing of course he shares that with zach clough who of course had that goal a beautiful goal there in the first half and we'll look should the assist probably went to Spearing since he, yes, since he got man of the match. But we'll round off this episode back at home this time versus Ipswich Town. As you see, we do maintain that two-point lead over Bournemouth. A little bit eight points over Norwich and Middlesbrough. Uh, Van Bergen is back in the starting lineup for this match. I'm giving Jaskalainen the start in goal for one reason. So it's been two ways versus it was this season. We beat them 3-0 in the league, and then, of course, they knocked us out 3-0 of the FA Cup, which is why Jaskalainen gets the start in goal tonight. Van Bergen. Good to have him back. Alashe gives that to Wilkinson. Maybe a chance here off the opening kickoff to take the lead. He sends the shot, but it's too high. All right, plays it quickly. Scoots sends that over to Kenlock. All right. Where are we all started here? Ipswich may be looking to do what they did to us in the FA Cup and just jump right on us. Sears with a lash, or not, that's not a lash, eh? Bishop's going to send it through. Ward and a save from Yaskalainen. Hmm. Lucky that he got that. Hit it down on the ground hard enough to make it bounce over. Inside for Bella. Oh, Bishop steps in front of it. He's going to slide this through. Sears is on side, and he puts it into the side netting. Lucky not to go down here early in the second half. As we just gave away possession, but Sears can't find the back of the net, and that's a goal kick. 
Oh, Lashay does rise up. It is, I guess that is Lashay. I did put him in the starting lineup. Clough plays it through for Harrison. Harrison into the area, steps on it, sends it off. Vela with a shot, and it's into the back of the net. We finally opened up the scoring here. Ten minutes into the second half, Vela gets his, I believe, seventh of the season. And, oh, a little deflection off the defender who comes sliding in, and, and that's enough to beat Bialkowski. He replaced that short to the solo. And over the top, Van Bergen brings it under control. Chambers comes along, and we're going to get a corner here. About 20 minutes remaining. Still 1-0 lead. Harrison comes over to take it. And he's going to whip that in. Oh, Bishop's going to head that straight back out. Maybe another chance. Harrison gives that to Van Bergen, who slides that on for Wilkinson. Wilkinson turns and fires the shot. Leokowski does well to save at the near post. A couple of defenders here. Also, as I, I meg the one, but we're going to get another corner. going to send this. Beavers wins the header right back to Vandenbosch. Wilkinson gives it to Alashe. Alashe back for Wilkinson on the edge of the area. Wilkinson has a shot and nearly misses doubling the advantage. Oh, Derek just can't clear that to midfield. Wilkinson does win the header. Falls to the feet of Bishop. Gives it to McDonald. Sears. Pushes that out wide. Zuzak, it bounces around, falls to the feet of Bishop. And he nearly equalized the game here. Under 10 minutes left. It took a deflection there off Clark. And wow. Goal kick. Oh, giving it straight back to Sears. And that's a mistake there. He's going to have a shot. Gascalena does well, and he does well again. Beavers just cleared this out. What a chance that would have been. A mistake on my part. But they still have it in our area. About five minutes remaining here. Ward's going to give that to McDonald, and he, he hits the crossbar. It falls to De Silva, just cleared away. Oh, Harrison. Maybe a chance here. Four minutes added on. Just need to retain possession. He's going to play that forward for Lewis. Lewis gives that to Wilkinson. Wilkinson turns, plays that off for Harrison. Smith comes up and makes the tackle, and he's just going to clear this. Oh, Sears is there, but Derek does bring it under control. Out wide for Clark. Fans calling for the final whistle. Harrison turns well there, and he's taken down from behind. It's going to be a free kick here just outside the area, and luckily only a yellow card for Barra. So Vandenbach to take this. He hits it, and it's into the back of the net. He's done it again. And that puts this game away. It's 2 nothing with just moments remaining. And Mike Vandenbosch, the scout future star from this season, has his fourth of the season, his third by way of free kick. And let's see. Oh, just a deflection off the wall, and Keeper had already committed to the dive. It goes right where he came from. Two-nothing Bolton. So a 2-0 victory over Ipswich Town. We take all six points off of them this season. Of course, they did knock us out of the FA Cup. But this is an episode where we took seven. As you see there, they completely outshot us. We only had the two shots on target. Both ended up finding the back of the net. But seven points this episode. Vandenbosch takes man of the match with that 8.1 rating. Vela did not get credited for that goal. It was another own goal. 
But uh, that's going to be all for today's episode. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. We're down to about, I believe, like 10, no, maybe 9 more games? Something like that. Maybe 7 more games. I'll see you next time.